the cusp between law and markets has always fascinated me and clearly prior to 2007 this kind of area could always be perceived as was was often indeed perceived as technical dry backroom analytical lawyers law um, and after the financial crisis first became manifest in the UK, in my own home city, in Newcastle upon Tyne, with our first bank run for 160 years in uh, Northern Rock, um, that all changed. And uh, now financial regulation is at top of every single policy agenda, whether it's the G20, the Basel Committee, the G8, the European Union, um, the Eurozone Group, uh, and indeed national governments. Um, and it's a subject that's been politicised and made more urgent uh, by the events of 2007 to 2009 in the banking sector, and indeed nowadays by the events in the um, sovereign, uh, sovereign debt market as well in the Eurozone, which although Britain sits outside the Eurozone, um, the, uh, there's considerable interest in the UK in, to the, the extent to which the legal underpinnings both of the Euro itself and some of the stabilisation and rescue mechanisms and emergency lending packages, to the extent to which they put non-Euro member states of the European Union on the line. So. Uh, f for myself, I find it fascinating coming here today as an exercise to get up to speed in an area of law, European monetary law, where very few British lawyers um, have much expertise at all and we certainly don't even, for example, teach it um, to our, our UK law students. One thing we've learned from the financial crisis is the degree of interconnection and the degree of connectivity there is across sectors, across products, across regions um, and uh, we know that there's huge connectivity between sovereign risk, and so, um, sovereign problems and financial sector problems um, outside of the Eurozone as well. So we all have um, uh, an Im imperative need to um, talk about solutions. Um, and um, practical measures that we can usefully take that don't overpromise uh, and don't embed unrealistic and false expectations of legal solutions and legal mechanisms. And in the executive seminar in the next session coming up, I'll be following on from Professor Allen, who gave us an excellent view of the very many different meanings to an economist of systemic risk and I'll be looking through a legal lens um, and uh, showing that systemic risk too is quite an alien and a new concept uh, and a not much talked about concept in legal discourse and in legal narratives um, and yet that is set to change as the new macro prudential regulatory agenda takes shape uh, and I'm going to argue and try to show that this will challenge lawyers and the legal profession and the legal culture and the legal mindset in ways that we may find uncomfortable. <laughs>